can someone can, can someone do this for me? Okay, let's do this. Oh, right. Right. <laughs> Wide right. Wide right. Oh, sorry. Chad. I didn't even realize. Wide pip. Right. We're having way too much right. fun. Yeah. Um, all right. All right. What are we going? doing? We on? Who's host? Podcasting. Uh, Welcome to. Who's... I'm hosting. I'm Gemma. Cool. Gemma is hosting. <laughs> oh god. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> la 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 la. <laughs> Okay, come on. Come on. <laughs> come on. Hi. Hi. Hi, oh, everyone. Shouty. Hi. Hi, welcome back. Welcome Big back up. to Spittin' Sips. Spittin' Sips, yes. We I'm your it. host, Verm. <laughs> welcome to my show. I'm, I'm not allowed to host. I'm not hosting anymore. You're not hosting. She's not hosting anymore. I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm happy right. with that. Are you happy to host? Oh, no, no. I think we just continue going. Yeah, welcome back to... Hello. Welcome back. Welcome back, everyone, to Spittin' you, Sips. at home, I'm looking at you. Looking at you specifically, Henry Hammersley. Thank you for joining us uh, yeah. on your <laughs> on your weekly sales run. Uh, yes, yeah, stre- streaming this. We love you. Uh, we miss you. And happy thirtieth birthday. Yes, yes. happy yes. birthday, All Henry. Days. Incredible. Yeah, incredible. It joins joins the you know great ranks of many Australian. Uh, 30 year olds. M- yeah, 30 year olds <laughs> and middle order batsmen averaging thirty. Yeah. Now, now we've got we've got first things first, uh, catch ups because a lot has happened since one of last last one of these. Noah, so yeah, it's been five weeks since, since yeah. we've been here. We've yeah. been, man. <laughs> uh, uh, as as alluded to on the last uh, episode of the the podcast, I was in the United States of America um, and mm-hmm. hit mm-hmm. ten states, if you include Washington DC, in three weeks. It's a, I do include Washington DC. So. I'm glad. I don't know if they counted as a star on the on the flag. I think they might do, but uh, you you think so? I don't I know why. So. It's, yeah, you think fi- so? Fifty of them? Fifty? There's fifty. There's fifty, 50 states. Surely yeah. they're, they're scraping around for stars somewhere. They're just like DC. Screw it. Yeah. Only reason forty nine's not a round number. Fifty is a good one. Yeah. Well, it was forty seven for a long period of time. Only until very recently. Um, really? Yeah. Hundred yeah, <laughs> percent. Uh, I don't know the exact dates. Like that's another whole point of time. But yes, I was in the states. Um, and first thing I need to say is that I need to say thank you so much to everyone who reached out on the and the YouTube comments saying like if you're in Houston, like let's go catch up for a drink. If you're in Baltimore, DC, all this kind of thing. The timing of the podcast could not have been worse because after the time we put it up, I was already out of all of those places and oh wasn't going back. So I didn't Damn. be able to catch up. But with that being said, when I was in Chicago, I was lucky enough to hang out with a bunch of Discorders and uh, mm. two, two Discorders and uh, and their partner. So Business Kenny and Pino Player. Um, I'll, hey. I'll, I'll leave your real names off the podcast. And, P- and uh, Business Kenny's partner, um, Business Kenny, uh, invited me over to his wonderful place in Chicago and and we ended up drinking a whole bunch of wine oh, uh, in so the, cool. on, a, on a Sunday afternoon and just had a great old time. Did and it was fucking awesome. Did you have any, like, worm super fans? Was anyone like, hey, this, she's super sick? <laughs> no, it, well, there was very positive feedback for everybody. Um, but and- I'm talking about specifically for me. You got some po- you got some kind words. <laughs> <laughs> there was no Gemma super fans. Like, you know, like... Disappointing America, step it up. No, like, this is... It's, <laughs> here's, what I, here's, what, here's what I'm... Like, here's what it is. Like, this is like the early... Early parts of season two of um, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Which and I've not seen. I'm, I'm not comparing you to Danny DeVito in any other way. It's the fact that you're a new character, the whole uh, <laughs> whole thing. So uh, everyone's kind of still trying I'm to like grow Like Danny DeVito in more ways than you'd like to know. Boy. Um, <laughs> boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, but it's like everyone's still kind of coming to terms with the fact that you're part of the thing. But I think eventually everyone's going to come. Coming to terms? Well, it, like it, 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 we've been this podcast for three years now and we've had yeah. a very... Very yeah. good, like you know, uh, long-standing lads rep- culture. Lads culture, and now we're <laughs> yeah, we're breaking down the walls of sexism. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> One worm yeah. at a time. Yeah, one worm at a time. Yeah, the topsoil is well and healthy now. No, but it, it is great. Like, Brendan was saying while you were over there, he was like, oh, yeah, Noah's just hit me up. He's catching up with people from the Discord. It is mental to me that there are people in America who pay attention to us. Like, you know... Just- I did. I, I was had doing- a really yeah. similar experience with the band recently. We got an email from a dude who was like, yeah, I, you know, some stuff was going on in his personal life. And in, the, like, the PS, it was like, let Gemma know that her bass line in Unafraid made me pick up my bass for the first time in years. And did, how did like, it make you feel? 
fucking weird. <laughs> I know. That's the thing. That's why I'm super fan. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you don't have it for no, the podcast like, yet, but you got it for the, the, the music. It's That's just weird. Good. It's like, why? Why me? Every it's just bizarre. Every single time I was doing tastings in Houston, Detroit, and people come like, man, love the, love the YouTube show. Love That's the so thing. Cool. And it's like, crazy. and like us doing it. it and it's like, motivated. It's. I feel weird. It is. It, yeah, you're so right. It's just like, why do you care about why something that I did? <laughs> why are you choosing to invest your time in a yeah. bunch of idiots? What are you doing? Yeah. Oh, but, that's that's imposter syndrome, like classic. Yeah, imposter yeah, yeah. Syndrome, that's yeah. It. It's like, like we put out something. We 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 have an amazing community. The community actually yeah. is is uh, you know we we encourage the community, but really the community encourages itself. Yeah. Mm. And we just I just I I you know alluding to what you were saying before was just so enamored that like. Y- on your first it was your first big sort of trip it was first trip for the company as well yeah first, first trip in the states for, for the company yeah um you know that you just had such a, an amazing warm welcome reception like when you're on the yeah. road for three weeks it's yeah it, it is good in theory but in practice it is quite like it is quite like an isolating experience yeah, especially mm. when you're by yourself yeah it's just like you can you you're, you're flying you're in airports you know three times a week minimum you're in random yeah. places you're meeting a new person every day um, way more well, like, like eight or nine eight, 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 like yeah. probably 20 really 20 new people a day and also just like and then oh. you're meeting a new distributor so you don't have like, you, like it takes a long time to build these relationships mm. but over, overwhelmingly it was an amazing time I got to I had some very very good fun times both like at work like with the Unicozella stuff the wines were mm. well received um, it was very inspiring to hear people again as alluded to the, the you know the the YouTube show was so like global and people are just like saying, man, I fucking love it. Yeah, it's like, so wild. I got wigged out when like, I went to Nord Oval to watch a game of footy and someone came up to me and he's like, you're from the YouTube show. I'm like, yeah, look at the spread we've got. We've got a lot of Nord. You're fucking yeah. American. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> Detroit. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, uh, yeah, many, many fun times. What was the uh, what was the best thing you ate in America? Mm. I went Question. to this place in. Uh, Gemma, it's not us. It's what a- was the best thing you ate in America? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I neglected to eat us over there. Um, yeah. uh, in COVID, man. <laughs> um, Damn. In Houston, I went to this restaurant called Gatlin's Fin and Feathers. I love this already. Like, uh, yeah. So, oh. um, th- like, as I was over there, the New York Times had released its list of the 50 best restaurants, 50 best new restaurants in America. And on the day that we did a dinner at this restaurant, Gatlin's Fin and Feathers, they were listed as one of the top 50 Bob, best new restaurants no in, in, in the country. In the country. Yeah. And it's like one of four Houston restaurants or Texan restaurants or something like that. Uh, but the food is proper southern like absolute wow. southern hospitality i'm talking like amazing fried chicken brisket collard greens mac and cheese catfish everything catfish! It, <laughs> calm down um and, and and we paired all of this with the unico wines so, uh, brilliant. and it, oh, it was unbelievable Dude, like how was the cornbread Cornbread fucking kicked dude, ass. Cornbread <laughs> yeah. is so fucking good. Actually, when I was in North Carolina, I had some cornbread with like this sweet potato dip, and it was the, one of the best things I ate the whole trip. It was so good. Mm. But yeah, that was the best thing I ate like by quite a long way. I I, it, I had a rough night's sleeping because I had so much fat and protein, but it was absolutely <laughs> delicious. It. Yeah, it would go to a point where it's like the, the American food is amazing. Like the particularly barbecue down south is mm. probably the something that I indulged in the most because I was down south for probably most of the trip at least yeah. half of it that every every state's different and then mm. you go to like North Carolina there's like six different regional styles of North Carolina barbecue inside the wow. state it's like wow. eastern western and northeastern and southwestern like everything's slightly different right. it's amazing barbecue culture is in barbecue America's. for the people just saying uh, yeah. it's, uh, if we can get all our discorders there. together and we can come across and just like couch yeah. surf for a while we would do barbecue for the people and I, t- and I tell you what like, uh, like there's so much um, the, one, the one thing that I think people don't think about globally about America is that most states in America actually make wine mm. and mm. there's so many interesting some of the best wines I've had in a long time were random things I had skin contact Roussan from Texas Mm. and it was quite delicious cool. and one of the best wines I've had all year was a Gruner Vetlina from Michigan Slay um, oh cool and it was 
unbelievable. Michigan good. stuff's seriously underrated. Like seriously horrendously underrated. underrated. Yeah. yeah. Really, really good stuff. And so I was able to do that. But yeah, amazing stories. I went to Howdy Fest in Detroit. I Howdy Fest. Yeah, it was it was awesome. Yeah. And then, you know, like I got into a car accident in Baltimore. Um Phone broke. <laughs> And then one of my favorites is when I was in Dallas, we did this wine tasting um, and we just like this, uh, this place where it was like a members only style tasting. So you basically paid a fee and you could go into, you could store things there and drink in and just like it's cool. a bit of a community thing. And this guy rolls in and he's like, he, he's got a stack of books um, and he sits down at a table and he's like about to do a bit of a, uh, you know, about to order a bottle of wine while he waits for his friend. Uh, he's got a tiny little dog with him as well, which is pretty fun. And then at the same time, I'm doing this tasting for um, the trade and uh, our distributors and things like that. It's a bit quiet. So I asked him, hey, do you want to try some wine? And he's like, yeah, absolutely. It'd be great. And he's like super excited, like asking all these questions about the wine. And we, we ended up like having a bit of a chat and he's like, oh man, thanks so much. You would like a glass of what glass of wine I've just pulled something out I was like yeah absolutely that sounds great pulls out this cobalt blue bottle of Santorini Assertico <laughs> it was like pretty fucking hilarious and then gives me a glass and he's like hey man do you want a book I was like he's like hey do you read and I was like yeah I read I love reading I like, I'm like. i spending a lot of time on planes yeah, I never learned how to read <laughs> yeah I spend, a, I spend a, I'm on I'm a planes a lot. I like reading. Yeah. It's a good way to kind of, if I'm not too, you know, tired or anything like that, yeah, reading's yeah. pretty good. He's like, hey, here's a copy of a book. And I was like, oh yeah, thanks very much. And I got a copy what of the book. What book is this? Uh, Please tell this me. It's some Scientology. Scientology. Fucking, you, you carried this all the way back with you as well. The, oh my God. The title of the book, I'm going to leave the author's name la- nameless, but the title of the book is called Love God, Get High. <laughs> What? Fucking slave, <laughs> slave. Love, the love house. God, get high, living under the influence. What? what? <laughs> it's just. Did I, think, I write it? <laughs> I love the font size on it as well. It's so easy to read. <laughs> it's just random. It's like size fourteen. I love it. Yeah, I haven't. I haven't really divulged into it. I just thought I'd bring this back because I thought this was one of the wildest things that kind of happened whilst I was. That's over there. really funny. Well, that is such a story. I, that it is was like wild. that is like a like a like a ten out of ten story almost. That's yeah. that's fantastic. That was pretty good. Um, but yeah, it was uh, like uh, overall that. Yeah, I thought that was going to be pretty funny. But overall, the states was incredible. Like the response to the wines was great. The fact that people loved the the channel as well is absolutely fantastic. And it kind of gives me some like ideas for in the future of like if we're touring around we've got to totally. do these kind of tasting mm. things and in, in cities and stuff like that and like hopefully that can we can make that happen but yeah that's my story that's a good nice. story it's a really, it's <laughs> it's a really like, good you wanna, story want to best that henry uh i mean i did some tastings around some venues in adelaide they weren't quite <gasps> as exciting but you did get on the road you were selling selling booze yeah pop my the guy um, that knows nothing about booze is selling booze yeah pop my sales cherry which was fun uh went around to a few different joints and i went to the marrickville hotel and they were like you're not noah i'm like no he's not here so they love you at the marrickville hotel they miss you. i've never met anybody there i've just sent a lot of emails oh what the <laughs> fuck? man they must not have liked me uh, no, it, was fun. Um, it was cool i actually uh reconnected with a dude that i went to high school with who's running the cellar door uh, running the restaurant up at uh mount lofty house so, oh amazing yeah, yeah. No no chance that Andrew's listening to this, but if you are, hey Andrew. What's up, um, Andrew? Yeah. Maybe you're there. Yeah. Uh, but no, it was fun. I enjoyed, like, the... It's, like, not to say... There were a couple of it. It's easy when you've got wines that are nice to sell. And, mm. Yeah, mm. yeah, like, I can't imagine... Mm. Like, it, I can't imagine going in there with, like, a bottle of wine that I wouldn't like drinking and trying to sell it to people. Yeah. Because... Yeah. Like, pad the way uh, Cabernet would be a bit of an ask. It would yeah. be a bit. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, that was fun getting out and seeing the community. GK at Lost in the Forest, uh, not your friend, but your friend of your friend, Gemma, is such a sick dude. I can't mm-hmm. wait to get out there. Um, and what else has been going on? Um, oh, got a weird text today about maybe moving to the Sunshine Coast, which would throw <laughs> some spanners into some things in my. I'm coming for your spot. Yeah, yeah in, exactly. In uh, other... Main yeah. Same. Move. Yeah. No, I'm lying. I would miss you. Mm. We, would, we would definitely miss you. I actually hope you get it. Not that, would... not that I don't want you to go away from here. Yeah, I absolutely... fly back every once a month and drink some wine with you guys, record some videos. Yeah, exactly. I mean, bank them up, bro. Yeah, bank, bank them up. Do, do go out at Sunny Coast. You go to Sunny Coast. Oh, for like, fuck yeah. I'm there, well, yeah, I'm, I'm, there, I'm there twice like a year generally anyway. Yeah, Cork and Coast. Coast. No worries. Yeah, it's great. Love it. So we'll well, go to Sunday's Pizza. Can you divulge as to what the offer is? Uh, it's it's an opportunity more than an offer at the moment. The offer makes it sound like I've got the gig. Uh, it's a bit of radio shit. 
essentially, mm. which would be very cool and very fun, but um, also have never really left the Burnside postcode area. So the idea of moving to uh, another Dude, he state. looks sunny coast though, you, don't you? You would kill it on the sunny coast. We'll see, yeah. we'll see, we'll see what happens yeah. there. Um, other than that, disappointing that Brisbane couldn't get up on the grand final. Oh yeah, I watched that midnight in Detroit. That was one of the best games of football Amazing. I've ever seen in my entire was life. An incredible game of football. And you know, ca- karma from Lockie Neal stealing Marcus Pontepelli's it- Brownlow to be yeah. quite frank. Oh yeah, oh. sure. I- <laughs> what have you been up to? I was just going to add to the grand final thing. I didn't mind that Collingwood won. Okay, um, hot take. A, a, a good friend of mine, uh, Mike, passed away a few years ago. Big Collingwood fan. Mm. Yeah. And yeah. when he died, Collingwood gave free t- a membership to each one of his kids. Oh, wow. wow. That's cool. So and those a kids signed probably jersey just had like, a, and, an amazing time. What, and... I don't know if they went to the grand final, but all these kids now have Collingwood memberships and a signed jersey, and they all grew up being like a Collingwood family. So, mm. you know, Mike, oh, would Mike. Have, Mike would have enjoyed watching yeah. it. Mike would have had a good time. They won, and I was like, do you know what? 100%. That yeah. would have been good for Mike. Yeah. I hated it less 100%. than I expected to. Anyways. It was yeah. a good game of football. But amazing. Mike's going to be really disappointed tomorrow, you know, or next year. Just say I ain't going to win. Well, he can't be too disappointed. He's not alive. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> 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 Anyways, um, what else have I been up to? You've been in Brisbane. I, eh? I, oh, I did go to Brisbane. I did Big Sound. That was fun. Mm. I hate people. <laughs> like I really, I it's something I'm working on because my first instinct is to hate people, and you yeah. have to earn my friendship. I'm confused. Like, do or you, pay or do for you it not want out. fans? <laughs> <laughs> because fans are people. Fans are people. But are they? Yeah. Well. Good. If That's, they pay. We're good. We're practicing. If they pay. <laughs> um, your time or your ticket at the door. Mm. Yeah, it was it was good. I definitely overestimated how much fun it would be working all morning and then going out to gigs and showcases and meetings and then playing shows and mm-hmm. it was a big five days. Yeah. It was huge. It's and hectic. then I came back, had one day at home and then straight back in the office. Um, Have you explicitly shouted out your band on here before? Uh, Oscar the Wild Music on Instagram. Um, we're about to drop our EP. Yeah. We yeah. released Very that exciting. the other day. It re- Oh, hang on. When are we releasing the EP? Bear with. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Hillary Duff Sorry, memes. Siri just kicks in. Yeah, Hillary, exactly. Nah, it's Hillary Duff memes. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I, would, I would imagine it would be amazing if you could just go, "Hey Siri, when's the Oscar the Wild EP dropping?" And then it just uh, comes spits out the answer. Oh, debut awesome. EP, she'll be right out October, November, November seventeenth, and uh, we will be uh-huh. doing a little tour. We'll be hitting some cities near you, you. hopefully Adelaide, definitely. Yep. Um, uh, You'd hope so. We're hoping Brisbane, Melbourne, Sydney. So right. if there are Ooh. any Worm fans, come to my show. Yeah. A- anyone who rocks up to an Oscar the Wild gig in a Unico Zelly t-shirt gets, gets a, a free beer. Yeah. Free beers. Yeah, so yeah. Get, yeah gets a beer I'm from the I'm not paying for the, the beer, but the beer is free. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll yeah. figure something out. Yeah, we still want, still one from the writer. I actually need to talk to you something about band-related things later. But um, yeah, so... And yeah, like honestly, like you've been playing some of the stuff in the office, and like the early sounds it sounds awesome. I'm yeah, yeah really it sounds. I yeah. we really we have a band. track that is pretty much acoustic, um, and in the bridge, uh, my sister's boyfriend who produced it put in a bunch of beautiful like strings and piano, Ooh. and I was crying Ooh. listening to it. So yeah, that's all been very exciting. Music video shoot this weekend for one of the tracks. Ooh. How about Oscar the Wild does the wine for the people jingle? <laughs> I don't funny, think yes. it should be Oscar the Wild does the Worm for the People jingle. I think it should be Worm. Just Worm. Just Worm. Just Worm. Just worm. Solo yeah. track. Like been, been contemplating a little solo project, but my ADHD fixation got the best of me. Almost bought a guitar on the spot, forgot about it a week later. So that probably <laughs> tells me that I shouldn't do it. Yeah, it'll happen. yeah uh, smart, 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 smart. And I feel like you... You might understand this. You, you. Oh, I love, I love a short-term project. You love, yeah, yeah. I just, I was talking to Lockie about it, and I was going so hard. I was like, I'm gonna drive down this afternoon. I'm gonna buy the guitar, and I've got it all planned out. I've worked out all my money, and I've already got ideas for songs. Two days later, Michael's like, "So that guitar?" And I'm like, "What guitar?" Oh my what are you God. talking just, about? Wow. Yeah, you sound crazy. <laughs> wow. Solo project, crazy. But no, it's been, it's been really cool. Um, we played a song for the first time that I sing on quite heavily which has been a lot for me cool awesome. um 
so that really pushed me mentally because I hate singing in front of people, but I did it. You have a beautiful voice, though. Yeah, yeah amazing oh, voice. You. Amazing voice. Everyone hears yeah. me howling through the office. Oh, yeah, little... but you put on it's your amazing, your, your silly little voice in the office. Yeah. But it's, it's always... Yeah, it's but amazing. when you, when you, you properly it's sing, it's awesome. Behind it. yeah. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Um, but yeah, then I went to Ballarat over the long weekend with my family, which was good. Um, really enjoyed the architecture in Ballarat. I've been it's there gorgeous. before. I went there mm. when I was eight, but an eight-year-old is not going to look at the old gold exchange and go, oh, six sconces. Man, um, unless you're an eight year old with culture. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, went to you love the sconces? I love sconces. Sconces are sick. Yeah, especially with jam and cream. Um, dude, I had a Devonshire tea in Ballarat like I did when I was eight. But, uh, dude, dairy? Sh- I should have known. We know this about me. Dude, I'm walking around Ballarat. And going, now am, our I gonna, listeners do. am I going to chintz to myself in Sovereign Hill? Chintz, Who knows? Chintz. Also found out that what? Sovereign Hill, not real. Yeah. Fake town. You didn't know that? I do now. Well. Which sad. is awkward for someone who was a history major. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that was good. humbling. Uh, so did the Sound and Light show, which was sick. Um, I just love a good Sound and Light show, honestly. Mm. Just a slut for a Sound and Light show. They're just so much fun. Fun, and then uh, yeah. So did the sound and light show the night before. Did Sovereign Hill the next day. Dipped a candle. Did like the wax dipping. My candle was a beautiful rainbow, and it was the best out of all of my sisters. <laughs> Slay, and um, went on a like a little mind tour underground. It was like a twenty minute self guided tour, and I came out and I'm like, whoa! I can't believe this is where they found the welcome nugget. Michael Lewis, did you hear how far down it was like dug up? And I was like, yeah, like 200 metres. He's like, we were maybe 15 metres underground. I was like, yeah, yeah, but it's the mine. And he was like, it's a mine. (laughs) They've dug a mine. It's not the mine. I'm like, yeah, but... It's, underground it's, mining yeah. it's the same, yeah, it's the same oh, thing yeah. you get the it's same the, me, like, me and moles like this man so yeah that was right. good what about you what are you what about you farmer boy exactly that uh springs Chopping springs shit. hit at the farm like four weeks early oh, so wow. um this is the first year that we've owned like we clocked over a year owning it and we said that we'd own it for a year before we actually start doing much stuff with it and that whole last year has really just been observing learning um planning things out and getting ready and now it's you know time to enact the plan so did our first couple of working bees at the at the farm to get on top of things more goats are on there we've been uh, setting half the thing bloody on fire and cleaning up um so we've actually cleared a couple of fields of apple orchard getting prepped for the cellar door construction um that's all going through council at the moment um so it's all like it's just it's happening it's it's Mm -hmm. happening there's a lot of work we're so we're prepping for another big um the old bonfire before fire band sets in yeah uh, in a couple of weeks but uh not that went to melbourne um off to sydney next week good to get back out and trade love i one of those weird people that really loves talking to customers. Um, mm. you know, it's good. It's loves great, people. Great, great feedback. Yeah, love people. I don't hate people. <laughs> I really love people. Yeah. Can't relate. Um, and yeah, no, it's good. It released a new wine, you know, for Unicorn. Oh, yeah. oh Bowen. Yeah, dropped Bowen. today. Yeah, it's so good. I had um, a very, very funny experience. I went to a venue in Brisbane and they were like, oh man, someone rolled in yesterday with like this $1,200 landed like Chardonnay like Grand Cru Burgundy I tasted it and I was like yeah it's pretty good this new one it's better than that well, <laughs> oh. $1,200 <laughs> um, like Grand Cru Burgundy yeah. and then they're like nah Paul and Gavard's Tramina best wine ever yeah. I had it's... continue your thought no I had okay. I, I will then thank you um, I I we had just such trepidation over pollen like mm-hmm. like just the making of the idea of it it was like trying to convince each other and then trying to convince ourselves that was a good idea because like Kvirtz is just not exactly lauded in, in the Australian wine industry as being of like great quality or anything like that in fact my first sort of experience is 15 years ago in wine it was about like like Kvirtz was a joke mm. um, and it's like weird cheese. yeah yeah it is it's like super soapy and, and stuff like this and I like soap. Uh, uh, well, yeah, I've always I like sat drinking in rooms it. with these like other winemakers who were like slamming this one variety with no like no actual justification, and I'm still the one sitting there, 15 years on, going, I like Gewurz, like I really do. I, like I, I, I think it's really yeah. tasty. I love I don't, I don't Gewurz. Gewurz was the first I had 
is it a coat of barrels you have a Gewurz? Weird yep. berries in the woods. That was Lovely. the first Gewurz I had. Delicious. And it yeah. was my introduction to white wine. It was before I started working here. Ginger from Lost and Forest brought over a bottle. Yeah. And I was like, what the, what is this fuckery? This is fucking delicious. A little bit yeah. sweet, a little bit fruity, a um, little bit love it. It was, Laurel, yeah, I guess it just was so far from what I know a white wine to be. Mm-hmm. And it was just so tasty. Do you know what else was tasty? I had a champagne from Champagne recently. Oh, the best. <gasps> I had it it at a little... Now, the name escapes me. It was a little, like, wine bar uh, in Dalesford. Wine speak? Dude. Best. Dude. That place... Dude, what was his name? Owen Ladham? No. Dude, if you could pull the name as well, that'd be incredible. Dude, the name of the guy. He swapped names with my dad so they could be on a first name basis through the whole experience. Your dad swapped his name with someone else? Yeah. That's a bit weird. What's his name now? Not like swapped. They not exchanged. They exchanged. (laughs) Yeah. They exchanged exchanged contacts in vacation. They swapped his name. The song wanted it to be like a really personal experience, so they exchanged names and and he was fantastic. And we had it with a platter with a bunch of local like cured meats and cheeses. Yeah. You can. Dude. do the terrine plate there yeah you can get yeah, well, like a plate of terrine yeah like, so, yeah, yeah. so like we we did the, so we did two little like charcuterie boards and then we picked two, boards. two tinned fish um mm-hmm. and it was my first time eating an anchovy i liked it How good. <gasps> salty, so like salty a little boys. dude so a little good. salty little little fish with some champagne from champagne dude i was fucking for lying yeah. i had two glasses of champagne and i'm hooting down the streets of dalesford yeah dude yeah champagne gets you harder than dude, most wine dude my client were both like whoa well, yeah it gets you what it gets it gets yeah like it, like it gets you more drunk than most other wines right like it oh, makes you feel sweet. drunker than yeah. most other wines and you I know felt like celebrating yeah. I was like give me some OJ let's have some Mimi's this is Christmas I love it <laughs> Mimi's yeah uh, wine time we've got uh, we've got this uh, we can do some options let's, let's do some options yes do Dungeon some options. Master Henry today. I am gonna play just before we move on to options got a little quiz for you so okay. the author of this book okay right mm-hmm has written two other books. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, okay. Can, can I guess the title? I'm going to give you three titles, and I want you to tell me which one of these books am I making up, because he's written two of them, all right? Good, good, okay. good. Is it? So he's written Love God, Get High. <laughs> Living Under the Influence. <laughs> yes. Love Fun. God, Hate Church. Right? Awesome. Love God, Make Money. <laughs> That's America. Love or God, Fuck Bitches. Love God, Get Divorced. <laughs> Which one of those oh did he not God, write? That's... He did not write the get divorced one. Okay. No, no, no. He, I don't think he wrote. Um, Love God, hate church. Love God, hate church. I don't yeah. think he wrote that. All right, you're wrong. He wrote all three of those books. <laughs> <laughs> Can I see it? Yes, you may. It's incredible. Yeah, like honestly, Dude, like this. If you open it to a random page, it's just got "I dare you" in bold, and then followed by "Oh my God." Hey, there, there's there's nuggets of gold there. I like. I had to stop looking at it like oh once. I wanted to save it for this because I. I kept on flicking through it randomly while I was doing this tasting. I was like, oh my God, this is too good. It's very funny. Just put right. it away. Options, options, options. That's All right, so, so we have Fuck a man, wine so for you to couch. play with today. <laughs> All right, what do we got? Um, it is red, I think. Yep, it's red. <laughs> good, would you Lucky like us. to slide me a glass Absolutely. Over? Just a little tip. Uh, just a tipple? Yeah, just a little taste. Do you want, us, do you want me to get you a bucket? No, nah, I can swallow a taste. I can't wait. <laughs> the tension in the room right now, honestly. Yeah, it's, it's, it's palpable. It's, it's, it's nice. I hate the word palpable. It makes me think of sweat. Why? <laughs> Why? Why? Why does it make you think of sweat? Try harder. <laughs> All right. Talk to me about this wine, ladies and gentlemen, first it's of all. It's red. It's red. Tick. Off the box. Um, yep. Old world or new world? New world. New world. New world. New world is correct. Fuck, I'm smart. Fuck, you are very smart. Thanks, man. We're proud I'm going to miss you when you move. <laughs> <laughs> if. Uh, country, uh, are we in the US? Are we in South Africa or are we in Australia? We're in Australia. 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 We are in Australia. Oh my God. Slay, slay, slay. Yeah, we're having slay. fun. We're having fun. Uh, regions. Are we in the Barossa? Are we in the Hunter Valley? Or are we in Margaret River? Oh, I believe we are. Oh, no. I think we're in Margaret River. I believe we are in Barossa. I'll say Hunter. Ooh. Correct. We are in the Hunter Valley. Get fucked. Sucks really? to be a fucking idiot, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been there. 
Wow. And finally, um, varietally, we're doing Cab Sav, we're doing Shiraz, no. we're doing Grenache. Uh, Grenache. Shiraz. Shiraz. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a Here Shiraz. Is. It's Terrell's. Oh, Mother's yeah. Vineyard. I've had this. Hunter Valley Shiraz from yeah. 2019. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. It's, 2019. So pretty. it's gorgeous. Yeah. I, I do not expect this from Hunter Valley mm. Shiraz. Like, I generally just get this, like, really meaty, Jeez, rich, I'll like. Beer in mine. <laughs> yeah. This meaty, <laughs> rich, like, spicy, like, iodine ridden um, Shiraz mm. from Hunter. It's like, I don't, I don't like it. I wouldn't mm. have got that right mm. at all. But. I'm, I'm, I immediately. This is a Pinot. Yeah, Pinot. Pinot. <laughs> it's a Pinot. What's it? It's a Syrah that what's well, Shiraz is made like a Pinot. Syrah. Like yeah. It's 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 so Good. elegant, it's so dainty. They pulled okay. it off the vine a little bit earlier. Like it's gorgeous. It's that sort of little bit of reductiveness that makes you kind of think of Heathkit, but it's it's the other H. So whenever I see Syrah that looks like this, that's like that's reductive. I kinda of go, it's either Heathkit or Hunter. Yeah, it's, it's not quite olive briny enough. Mm. And mm. you didn't give me any Victorian region, so as soon as you were like, "Oh, is it Hunter?" I'm like, "Yeah, of course." Like, yeah, yeah, and yeah. because we all know Hunter Valley's in New South Wales. You're correct. Yes. Obviously. Just- <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting Obviously. stronger. Um, <laughs> or lucky. Can we do a Syrah and call it K Syrah Syrah? Well, we did a Syrah. We've got a Syrah. It's called Delta Blue. Name shall be. Yeah, it's revealed. called it's called Redacted. Oh, it's, it's called not Redacted. Delta Blue. Delta Blue, not Delta a Shiraz. Blue. Nope, not, not a Shiraz. Not a Shiraz. No, it's a no, blend. No. No. Uh, we, we, no, we did it. We, no, we'll so just allude to it. We did a wine for the people one this year. It's coming out soon. Oh, mm. that's that one. That's yes. cool. That's those labels sitting downstairs that we can't talk about just yet. Yeah, no worries. They're the ones that look like the thing that I'm not allowed to say. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You're exactly right there. Yeah. You're exactly right there. We shouldn't be allowed to hold any information about anything secretive. No, no Henry's Henry's a good vault. Henry's you're, pretty good. you're pretty bad you're, at it. You're, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, okay. So I, for those who care... Uh, do a lot of the the social stuff when it comes to posting um, oh, yeah. on the on the Unico Instagram um, on the feed, and I spent time redacting the name from Pollen to post this sneak peek. And that fucking night, someone gets on the story and shares a, a thing from the like Noah's trade trip with just a bottle of Pollen in it. And I was like, cool. Who done it? <laughs> Me. Someone. I, I, me. I, 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 it was me. I, sh- so I, sh- I showed it. Brendan shared it. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah. Nah, it's all team, good. Team effort took us all to fuck that one up. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> they know the name, but they don't know what the fuck it is. But now they do. Now they so do. It's out. It's yeah, out go buy it. $27 doos. Yeah. $27 doos. Uh, I have some questions <sighs> here <sighs> from Discord. Oh well, wow. uh, because we have been going for a little while, and I want to want to make sure that we actually um we capture this before <laughs> before we close up. Um. First one, if you guys are willing to answer, mm-hmm. um, everyone specialised a lot on uh, a lot onto wines. My question is oriented more on wineries and winemakers. Do you have a favourite winery or winemaker from Australia, and why? Uh, yeah, uh, mine's Bleasdale, just because I spent so much time at Bleasdale as a kid, and like, literally, my what like when I started working up here. I was like, this doesn't look like a winery because it's not exactly the same as Please Dale. <laughs> Honestly, true though. Yeah, and they've got yeah. that big, big fuck off press sort of thing going yeah. on up there. And I can still remember like the, like as you go in through the cellar door, there's like this red concrete that was always really cold and always smelt like what I now associate with dad wine and mm. had a lot of fun times up there as a kid. Haven't been there in decades, but uh, yeah. yeah, it's definitely my favorite uh, growing up. Decades? I was probably like five or six, I'm 28. Okay, checks out. All right, cool. Tick. Me, me, me <laughs> I was like, like <laughs> what? Yeah. Anyway, carry on. Worm, favourite winery in Australia? A winemaker. Wine, it's winery. <laughs> Fav- favourite wines. Excluding people at this table. Gotcha. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's no wave. It's no <laughs> wave. Uh, 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 I stand out. I've got a bottle of no wave sitting in my bedroom. It's drinking good now. I, I, I crack it up. It's awesome. You got 24, actually. Mm-hmm. The first one that comes to mind, and really the only one that's coming to mind for me right now, is Charlotte Dalton. Oh, fuck yeah. Yes. Yeah, the amazing. Pinot Noir this year was mm. 
fucking Stonking. silly. Always good. Semion. Fucking silly. I, yeah, the Semion, Charlotte Dalton Semion, um, I don't know if it's Love Me, Love You, or Love You, Love Me, one of the two. Every time I see it on a wine list, I order it. Pino, mm, so class uh, that. no, Home in a Bottle is. Um, ba, 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 ba. Change is going to come. Ba, 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 ba. No, no, no. Who's Home in a Bottle? Home in a Bottle is. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, ba, na, na, na. Oh, what's his name? Home, what's his name? Home in a Bottle. Is home it? in a Bottle. Uh, I don't know. Blue blue van on the label. Really small producer. I don't know. I don't know. He, let me find out. He's, he's a he's a friend of Michael's. They were like a friend of a friend. They went to school together. Cool. Um, um, and their stuff is always pretty cool. Um, but re- oh, fuck me. Um, while you're doing that, my oh. favorite winemaker in Australia is Gareth Belton from Gentle Folk. Quite, oh. quite, quite comfortably. Yeah. Every, every well, year. Every, every year. <laughs> Um, I I mean it changes for me like it's really hard to pick a favourite what, what, what have you found? Willow and Goose oh yeah I've heard of this stuff I haven't had Willow any Willow and Goose so their stuff comes from Lenswood cool, cool. Um, good spot and buy yeah there. Home in a Bottle Pinot Noir and they their grapes come from the same vineyards as a pretty big producer but again the name is escaping me um, but uh, we drive past it when we're going to the range yeah, we could. But yeah, really Willow cool stuff. Willow, Willow really, and Goose and, slash and Dog. a certain percentage of their proceeds go to a charity called Op, Op, Op Blue, OP Blue, which the guy who created the winery created this business to provide healthy, clean drinking water to people in Africa. Love that. Love that. Good yeah. stuff. Love that. Um, I... Sven Joshki. Yeah, great. Sven, I just, uh, I, I, I'm enamored by winemakers that have just this. He has a natural talent for what he does. He just, he just does it, and it's fucking amazing. I also shout out to um Molly Ducker Sorry. now that we're talking about it, uh, purely because went to Molly Ducker on a basketball pub crawl one time. And the guy came out and was like, it was the last winery we'd been to, and he's just like, you guys want to do the whole tasting? We're like, yeah. He's like, no one's ever made it through our whole tasting. <laughs> And then uh, he didn't call the cops when one of my mates did a nudie run through the cellar door. So <laughs> <laughs> there are always good people out at the door. That's what happens when you call a wine the boxer. Yeah. Oh my and god! And you make seventeen percent alcohol Shiraz and use a shitload of water to make yeah. wine. No, um, um, I was going to try and do Fuck Molly Ducker, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, uh, have you ever had bad experiences with sulfite free wine or rather without added sulfites? <laughs> yeah. uh, I bought yeah. a bunch and they've always been good to me. Hey. Well, you are lucky, my friend. Good on you. Yeah, uh, yeah, like you are lucky. Like, um, if that is if that is 100% true, you've never had a bad sulfur free wine or like hardcore natural wine. I feel like... I, you, it, I, I, maybe you're probably like fresh into it or mm. you're very, very lucky. I feel like... Natty wine is kind of like sleeping with someone at a five day music festival. Like, sometimes it'll go fantastically and it'll be something that you always tell your friends about and you're like, this is an incredible experience. And sometimes you're just like, why the fuck am I in a paddock? Like, what is going on? Everything tastes horrible. Everything smells bad. Like, wow. Um, to be honest, that's actually not bad. Have you spoken like to that. your therapist about this as well? No, it's so hard to get bookings at the moment. It's it is. <laughs> it's actually impossible. Yeah, yeah it's, yeah, it's a challenge. Much. Um, I. Sorry, as a fucking camera guy. Camera oh, guy. sad. You guys can wait for five but, minutes. But we, we've actually gone black. But our, voice, our voices are still live. Oh, really? So this one goes directly out to Henry Hammerslay. Uh, I'm glad you're still with us. In more ways than one. You can't pay us and hire your employees on this public forum. Like, you can't be doing this. Um, yeah, I've got, I've got a few you... voicemails to delete then. Hey, Henry, just to remind you, you said you'd get me a pet rock for my birthday. Uh, I'm gonna hold you to that. He's here in a fortnight, I believe. Here in a fortnight or next week. He said he was gonna get me a pet rock, and I said I was gonna name Henry. I trust him to do it. I back him in to do it. Yeah, Yeah. he'll definitely do it. Hammond is the sort of guy who remembers things. Mm. You don't fuck around. I'm not. Yeah. You remember the pet rock? Yeah, because it's it's a box. I'm making a crane. Mm. Swan. Different. They're different, aren't they? Are they? Yeah. It's like rain in the sky. Obviously. Oh, now that we've not got audio, I can do the Hillary Duff impression. We do have la, audio. La, 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 That's la, the thing la, we have. We, we don't <laughs> have a video. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Noah's fine doing those obscene hand gestures that he's been doing for the last three minutes, but you can't do the Hillary Duff thing. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. A broken video file has been detected. Oh, oh no. Does that, do you reckon... Uh, 
Oh, it will recover it. Yeah, it's recovered. That's why I'm like, I don't want to fucking touch it. Don't, don't Just touch it. Patient touch, anyway. Touch don't nothing. touch these. Yeah. Bra- bra- you guys all learn about cranes through that book. Yeah, all through the girl that um had Hiroshima. cancer. Yep. Yep. And no. she, they, they told her if she made a thousand paper cranes, she would get one wish, and her, her wish was to not Have die. Cancer. Yeah, and she didn't. It was ten thousand paper cranes. Sorry, a thousand's easy. <laughs> And she didn't quite make ten thousand. I think, I think this story's been heavily embellished over time. Oh yeah, but, she didn't um, make but like the, the story, so, sounds the story like goes, she made, uh, she made nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine cranes and died making the last one, which like really. Well, back to Discord questions. I remember yeah. the video where you talked back. about um, when you were making wines at a young age. Are there? This, I'm a little bit confused by this. Forgive me if I sort of misread this. Are there any associations that help in some way young winemakers? Here, for example, there is one for producers less than 39 years old. I think like wines actually made for. Or is oh no, like any in associations like, that help young people make. If you if you're making your own wine brand, there's an association to give you a bit of a leg up and stuff like that. Like as far as a young winemakers cooperative to help boost uh, new talent in like, the like industry. Associations as like groups, like like yeah yeah. In Australia, I don't believe no. there's anything. I mean, there's young gun of wine putting a, young gun of wine putting a spotlight on young producers. Mm. There's not like an age bracket to a lot of the things um but uh, i don't believe there's anything in australia but. i mean wine for the people discord channel there you go uh, yeah grant's bra- coming soon yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Bra- there's, there's bra- yeah, not really um there is a lot more in like hospitality like in terms of like soms australia yeah. and other sort of a lot of, lot of grants and a lot of things to do as far as you like go travel the world and taste wines and stuff like that len evans mm-hmm. scholarship and then there's mm-hmm. like there was the, the, the other the uh, the tranche that like um Dan Altman was heading up with um, the guys from Sean Smith. There's, oh, there's no, a new scholarship no, that just made us introduce. Yeah, the really best way up. to do it would surely be just like get held chummy with a successful winemaker. Yeah, it? harder to do than the things. But yeah, just like yeah. work hard, find a good spot um, and work your hardest really. Yeah. yeah. Start a YouTube page. Yeah, all exactly. Of a sudden, the make your own wine. The industry is pretty like, it's not very insular in a sense. Like if you reached out to anyone on like the supply side of things or like, you know, uh, as like a winemaker grower or something like that and, and you just literally just upfront be like, hey, look, I'm looking to get into it. How do I get into it? Who should I talk to? Mm. Like you don't really need associations because we all kind of direct you into roles anyway. Yeah. yeah. Plus the, the industry is built on young bodies because it, it's manual labor and they need mm. people who are young and fresh with you know good backs and you know healthy hips and knees Optimism. and stuff like that. So then mm-hmm. we can break their backs and hips and knees. Correct. Um, yep, that's exactly right. It's that cycle. is the cycle. Reduce, yeah. reuse, ikiki. Anyways. Anyways. No, I that's a new one for me. Yeah. <laughs> um, is that, have you got any more? Discords? No more. No more normal brain teasers. Of course, if you are on Discord, jump on the Ask Us Anything section. These will more than likely be read out on the podcast. <laughs> Seems like a pretty good chance of it. I've been waiting yeah. So long. <laughs> so long. Um. <laughs> We got it. Have, That's have we it. got anything um, else that we need to? Yeah, we got. Yeah, we got. We got a couple of minutes here. Uh, any good wines that you guys have drunk recently in the last five weeks or so? Again, the champagne from Champagne was pretty. Do you know what champagne from Champagne? Mm-mm. It was extremely brute. Extra brute. <laughs> extra brute. Extra, oh, extra brute. It was a real good poppy pussy champagne. Oh my god. Oh yeah. my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Good. <laughs> poppy yeah. Oh, is that the new <laughs> scoop from Mum? Yeah, <laughs> ruiner. Uh, Bernard Moreau, uh, Chasson Montrachet, uh, 2020. Yeah, must be nice. Uh, that was it's awesome. A champagne producer. Had LURA's uh, uh, Ratafia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which was you, really cool. You did send me a photo of that. Was, um, that was pretty cool. Just going, going through my photos right now. Yeah. Um, and a Actually. big shout out to Bang Energy. Uh, oh. Just <laughs> keeping me. keeping me alive uh, while hungover. Uh, that was that was pretty cool. Yeah, I've been I've been drinking a lot of uh, this is very basic, but uh, Ministry of Clouds Grenache. I've oh, brother, that good. That's the good shit. Yeah, that's the good yummy. shit. Um, that what is else the good shit. Got in here that I've been drinking. I've really um, been drinking. The water's smart. pretty good in Victoria. Yeah, good water. Um, stay hydrated, kids. Have a Milo. Um, I yeah, have a. So you're saying stay hydrated, have milk and chocolate. Malt. 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 Yeah, yeah, that, that dehydrates Malt. you. Um, I had a excellent uh, Californian Pinot Noir from the Santa Cruz Mountains. Uh, Madsen is an mm. uh, excellent producer over there. Good good value to like, you know, $40 US uh, Santa Cruz Pinot is pretty Yummy. pretty challenging to get, um, but excellent, excellent stuff. Um, very small batch. I wish we could get it here in Australia, but yeah, they drink it all over there. Um, but it's very, very yummy. Hopefully one day soon. 
Anyway, I reckon that's us wrapping up. Thank you so much. Uh, whether or not we leave in or leave out any of the audio, videoless audio, <laughs> yeah, no, up to I, I would like I'd like one statement taken out, please. <laughs> the lost taste. There's a few statements in there that should be taken out. Yeah. Uh, anyway, until oh. next time, we'll be here. At Oscar the Wild Music on Instagram. Yeah, legit. Yeah, legit. Oscar the Wild. Oscar the Wild. Two days coming soon.